rolling into Salisbury after a 1,250-mile wagon trek from the Free State came Louis Hemming. It seemed that every available mount in the nation had been saddled up to greet the trekker after his long haul. Hennings and his wagon, Spirit of South Africa, had averaged 40 miles a day. His five horses had worn out 200 shoes. But he achieved his goal and was about to meet someone he greatly admires. Presenting Mr. Ian Smith with a young coat, Hennings told him he was a great leader of men. Mr. Smith liked that. He said he was only the lion that gave the roar. He couldn't do that without the solid support of his people. So it was goodwill all round. Even the coat enjoyed it. 